Planning a wedding, as we know, can be quite stressful with tight budgets, big decisions. So Gusto TV's newest show is here to help all of us in Where Do I Do? Design expert Tommy Smythe is helping engage couples lock down a venue for their big day. Tommy joins me now in studio. Good morning. I do. Good morning. I do. Look at you. Obviously, the big talk today is royal wedding, of course, yes. as well. And the fact that Ben's children are going to be in it. We're so excited about that. Isn't I that do, fun? I was watching this morning as I was getting ready to come and see you. Yes. And I was so excited about that. Yeah, because you... I kind of knew a little bit. Yeah, before. I think there, there had been chatter, right? Yes, yes. yes exactly. And Always... they're such cute kids. They're adorable and very well behaved. So we'll see what happens on the big day. I can't wait to see what they're wearing. I know. And obviously, the venue is absolutely beautiful. You focus on venue on your new show, Location, Location location I mean yes. how important is this well it's hugely important it is one of the most expensive things mm -hmm. that you do in your wedding and it's one of the first decisions that you have to make because it can inform all the other decisions what sort of food you have how many people you invite wedding invitations have to have an address on them right. so it's one of the first big decisions if not the biggest decision that couples make and there's never really been a show that focuses on that on the location so for a couple watching right now yes they've just gotten engaged uh -huh. and they're thinking okay where do I want to hold my wedding mm -hmm. what factors should they be considering at this point well we have a season two coming up and we're casting for that so okay. the first thing they should consider <laughs> is going to Gusto's website Love that. and key in casting um, but really what I do when I meet them is I talk to them about the vibe that they want for their wedding. Mm -hmm. So the first thing that couples need to do is kind of look within and decide what sort of a day they want to have. Where do they want to be? Do they want to be inside? Do they want to be outside? Do they want like a rooftop city skyline wedding or do they want to be on a beach? Mm -hmm. So there are a lot of decisions that they have to make really before we talk. Mm -hmm. And then once we talk, uh, I figure out whether A, are they on the same page? And or how tough is that when you get a couple that they have very different uh, <laughs> views of how their wedding should roll out? It's very tough, Lindsay. But the interesting thing is you're meeting. I'm meeting these people at the most loving and special time in their lives. So they're probably a lot more willing to compromise mm -hmm. now than they will be 10 years into the marriage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's the, true. The, the back and forth, the psychologist part of it is not that hard at this stage. And when you see a couple and they walk in, mm -hmm. can you tell right away what their vibe is going to be? Absolutely. Really? Yeah, of course. I mean, I've been in the design business for so many years. Yeah. I've looked at houses with couples. I deal with couples on a daily basis in my other job. And so getting to know people quickly and getting to understand their needs is a huge part of my other job. So this is no different, really. Mm. You're getting to know people, you're asking them who they are, what their backstory is. The nicest thing about this show is the, is the couples. I mean, our people are the heart and soul of the show. They're real people, they're not actors. They have wonderful, interesting backstories. We have people on the show who come from every kind of background and tax bracket. Uh, and so it's kind of a really well-rounded salad of what a wedding would look like in Canada. And that's important to mention as well, like different tax brackets, because we mm -hmm. could, you know, look at a show like this and think, you know what, I could never afford something like this. But oh, you've got sure. something for everybody. We've got budget brides, and then we've got brides who blew the budget. Right. So we have <laughs> everything, and everybody, everybody's story is so special that there's something for every single viewer to relate to. Relate to. And what's really cool in the show, we're showing it right now, that you give the couple... 3D versions of what, like yes. choices they could make in terms of the venues. Yeah, I have How, to say I don't do those myself. Right. Because my computer skills are not great, but we have an amazing team You've of got people a team. Yeah. who puts all that together, and they do see what their what sort of an example vision for a wedding in each venue would look like. And cool. how close is it to, like, how close do you get to that vision? Or is it sort of a work in progress as you go? The animations are always derived from the initial interview with the couples. So they always include things that I learn from each couple uh, so that the wedding vision that we present through the animation and the 3D graphics is something that they can understand. Mm -hmm. So if there is a particular sort of cultural background element that they want to incorporate into the decor, we'll try to put that in the animation so that the envelope of the venue, which in many cases is kind of a blank canvas, really looks like what their wedding could be. And then at the end of the show, of course, we see their actual wedding. Oh, I love that. I love that. So you really get to see the bookends here. Yeah. Uh, okay, so who's worse to deal with challenge-wise, bridezillas or groomzillas? Definitely 100% hands-down groomzillas. Ooh, wow. Bridezillas have this bad reputation, mm -hmm. but actually most women have been thinking about this a lot longer than the men have, um, in some cases since early childhood. And men in general don't really know their own minds coming into this. There's a little bit of a holy wow moment of <laughs> now I have to decide all this stuff. Yeah. 
that's not really in their wheelhouse necessarily. We are so looking forward to the show, Tommy. Thanks yeah. for stopping by this morning. Thanks, Lindsay. And where to I do premieres tomorrow at 8 p.m. on Gusto.